Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, sorry, you didn't have to see that. Yes, I do love my Mac. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, look how sexy this thing is, right? All right, well, enough of that bull. Um, this is a video response to Kyle Graham. He posted a video over on YouTube as well as his site at kylegram.tv where he basically declared openly that his PC can kick my Mac's ass. All right, I, I got to set the record straight on this. Now, he, he, told, he told everybody about his MacBook, and then he's had some trouble with it, et cetera, et cetera, which apparently he has. He had the Wi-Fi the wi apparently croak or something like that. But, you know, I want to set the record straight here because I've spent quite a bit of money on Macs. Uh, you know, nobody's, nobody's saying Macs are cheap, by the way. And, uh, but the thing is, is I'm happy that I've spent every single dime that I've spent on, a, on the Mac system. This thing, the one, this thing that I was just loving up here, MacBook Pro. Now this is the older model. This is, it's, I mean, it's the model just prior to the one that's out now. So this is not the unibody construction, but this is, you know, a great laptop. Um, I have had zero issues with this thing. It is a two thousand dollar laptop now, but the thing is, uh, you know, I am a big believer in you get what you pay for, and. Uh, the thing just works every time I turn it on. It's got a lot of horsepower behind it. It's got enough horsepower, by the way, where I can run OS X and Windows at the same exact time and just simply poop, you know, a little uh, screen thing. I forgot what you call that, the, the spaces, and just go over to Windows, flip right back to OS X. Try doing that with a PC, people. We can't do it. Uh, and then this, this thing that you're looking at right now, this gorgeous piece of art behind me by the way i've got three screens attached to this thing this is a mac pro now admittedly 2500 dollars computer and it isn't exactly cheap it might even be like 27 or 2800 now but again you get what you pay for this thing is the biggest freaking workhorse i've ever had in my entire life it runs pretty much 24 7 when i'm not using it it does stuff for me at night but it's it's downloading backups by the way I have tried to do this on Windows. Windows cannot freaking do it. I've tried to use a scheduled task system under Windows in order to do automatic things for me at night, and it freaking fails every time. It'll sit there and run great for like a week, and then all of a sudden it'll be like, nah, I'm just not in the mood. And then, and then freaking Microsoft, it, they just don't ever fix this thing. I don't know if it's going to fix with Windows 7, but you schedule task, schedule task if the PC is kind of in the mood. This thing actually runs cron, just like any Unix system does. It never, ever fails to run. It never fails to do my backups at night. Time Machine just works. It just does its thing. Um, it never crashes. I have never, I, well, no, no, sorry. One time since I've had this thing, and I've had it for a year and a half, have I ever had the machine crash to the point where I had to reboot it. That's it. Now, back when I was under the, the PC, I'd have, to, I'd have to sit there and reboot that thing every few days to keep it from dying on me. Windows Vista is the biggest piece of crap ever. I, it might have gotten better, but I was using Vista before this, and pfft, it's a piece of shit, and it just did not work. Uh, Windows XP, okay, yeah, you can stick with Windows XP, but, I mean, that horse has been, I mean, that boat has been sailed. It's not going anywhere. We'll see if Windows 7 actually is any better, but is it going to keep up with OS 10? I'm thinking not. OS 10 is, is not only slick, which, Kyle, you admitted it's a slick operating system, but it never crashes. It does what you want. Look at this thing over here. This is Windows XP because Vista sucks. I've got Windows sitting here running right now on my OS X desktop. I could do anything that you could do on your Windows PC. I can do right here. And I've also got all the OS X capability on one box. Where are you going to do that? I mean, you're not going to run that with a PC. It's just not going to happen. Not only that, a PC is probably not going to have the power to do it. I mean, this, this Mac does. Now, if you go and spend... Uh, you know, a good amount of money on a pretty, you know, a, on a PC with a lot of horsepower. Well, look, you're going to be spending a lot of money on that PC, too. But then you're going to be hampering it with, you know, Windows Vista. So, this this thing is the biggest workhorse I've ever had without crashing. I can have this thing encoding multiple videos at the same time, be surfing the internet, be watching a YouTube video. 
I can have it just be doing all kinds of stuff all at the same time and it just does it without crashing. So I don't know, I've, I have never had the experience like that under Windows. Windows, I, I shit, my last computer, I was powering this many monitors. I, about half the time that I booted that PC up, one of my monitors would just fail to fire. It would just show, it would be black. And the only way to freaking fix it was to reboot. And I'd have to sit there and play gamble and reboot the damn machine over and over again until all three of my monitors would light up. That's a bunch of bull, man. So it's just, you know, drivers, viruses, spam, adware, you know, sorry, I'm sticking with the Mac.